Uh, and of course, the best level three in the game. Uh, uh, this is crazy. Look at that beam, dude. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Dotodoy here, back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And I guess this is the big one because we finally got a full and complete Ultra Instinct Goku trailer that also reveals the release date right here, May 22nd. Don't forget, we are expected to get another update on May 9th, just with some manga colors for the other Goku. Stuff like that, some other rewards. But the big update looks like it's going to be coming out May 22nd along with UI Goku. And they also revealed an entire trailer with him going over most of the moves we've seen in his Shonen Jump article. Uh, which is a ton of moves but of course on the first watch we're just gonna watch it react to it because uh there's a lot of crazy stuff to react to so let's just go back play it uh, and we have to acknowledge it starts off with old footage i was not ready for this to be a new trailer when i first clicked that i was like oh so we're just uh we're just restarting the hype for uh, ultra instinct goku that's cool uh yeah we start off here with him coming in uh just a bunch of old stuff and then uh all of a sudden, they busted out the counter. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The teleport. That also looks really cheap, by the way. The teleport. Unblockable orbs. The flip Kamehameha. I what do you even call that axe kick, dude? <laughs> it, see how I can't... Th this is why we're going to watch it a second time, but uh, slowed down and actually with some analysis. Because there's only so much you can say. This uh, t tournament of power super is crazy. Uh, and, of course, the best level three in the game. Uh, uh, this is crazy. Look at that beam, dude. <laughs> and then, of course, it's not cool enough. They got to let him finish with the raging demon pose. Wow. That was a trailer. <laughs> I don't think they could have done any better, honestly. That was amazing. But let's go ahead and take it from the beginning because there is actually some stuff I do want to talk about here. Uh, like the fact that Ultra Instinct Goku is very, very much reminding me of Jiren. Uh, now, there's a couple things I want to break down here in terms of what what it is is making me think of Jiren. Uh, so, obviously, we have things like the heavy, the counter, stuff like that. We're going to see a ton of the, uh, an interesting air projectile counter. But then we have a move like this that's also a counter. You can see Jiren punches to activate it here. Uh, and then it's just a normal spin, much like Jiren's is. And then a guaranteed follow-up here that you, it doesn't look like you'll be able to combo off of. Also, something that was similar to Jiren for me was this up air attack, almost like Jiren's 2S. Uh, if you don't play Jiren, Jiren has a move like this that he can use to stop Super Dash. I wonder if it's going to serve a similar purpose for Goku. It doesn't look like it has the same smash property, though. Uh, and then here's another move that reminded me of Jiren. The, almost like an EXI sort of thing, but it's just an EX Rush. Uh, but it does serve, a, a, again, a similar purpose there. Of, what, but you get to extend off that? All right, that's that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> and then a uh, separate attack right here. This also reminds me of Jared's Key Blast. A uh, bit bigger, though. I guess this is like a, a win punish. There's never been anything like this in Fighters. Closest you could say is maybe a Dol Gohan's S. Uh, but this, yeah, this is, this is built in a much different way. Beam Super, that's sick. <laughs> that's going to be good. Hopefully, we see that as UI Goku's DHG or something along those lines. Uh, and then, yeah, the level three uh, Rising Heat. I actually forgot the name of it. I was in the Shonen Jump article, but ooh, why does it look so clean? <laughs> I gotta go back and slow that down real quick. Hold on, let me let me point five it. Not this. I want to see that. They also give him the jeer and uppercut. Ooh, that transition is too good. <laughs> that transition is too good. Just blows away Jiren. That's it. Uh, but yeah, kind of crazy how much of his kit looks like Jiren's, but uh. Hopefully they learned from their, their past mistake with unbuffed Jiren. Uh, it looks like we're going to be getting a buffed UI Goku version. Oh, also another big thing to note is his aura does look really good in motion, by the way. Uh, that's another unique aspect of him that isn't similar to anyone else in the DBFZ cast. He always has aura around him. Uh, unlike other, other characters in the cast where you have to be key charging to have any form of aura. That, we didn't talk about this at first. This is cheap. <laughs> this is like some uh, EX UI Goku rush, only it doesn't ha cost anything. <laughs> Just teleporting behind and then getting a punish? It looks like it could be pretty consistent against Super Dash, which, uh, again, would be an amazing tool. And then, of course, we have these orbs. <laughs> I guess this is how UI Goku gets around. But these orbs were said to be unblockable. It actually kind of looks like it might be a grab. Wait, is it a grab? Or is it just like something you get confirmed? It might be a grab or something you get confirmed, but either way, blown away, a flip beep, axe kick, 
What? See, what do those moves even do? You don't even. You can't even really get a good meaning of what they could do. Uh, that actually might be the third hit of UI Goku's auto combo. Wait, 2S? I'm pretty sure that's gonna be 2S. <laughs> that is stupid. The EX eyes, can you combo off that? No, it doesn't give you enough time. Ah, oh, well, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much everything we wanted to go over, right? I feel like we took a look at most things that it was showing off in this crazy kit. But yes, UI Goku is available May 22nd, uh, even earlier if you had the season pass, I believe. I think May 20th, but definitely going to want to give a UI Goku a, a chance. I, I cannot wait to main this character. Let me know down below what you thought of this trailer. It was probably one of the best DBFC trailers we've gotten so far. I don't know if that's just my hype for UI Goku or if there was actually more meat to this trailer, but let me know your thoughts down below either way. Uh, and while you're down there, if you enjoy the video and like the content we do here and are excited for UI Goku week, make sure to the like button and subscribe because you're definitely going to want to stick around for all of that other than that i've been dr doya thanks for watching this one all the way to the end and i will see you in the next video